Hi, this is Taryn Love Parker with The Field Guide. And today I'm actually here with one of my oldest best friends, Rio Branner. <laughs> and this is my favorite shop. It's the place where you come and dress up and just have a great time in incredible accessories and beautiful hats. Rio put this one on me today. I might have to go home yeah. with it. Yeah, so it's, it's perfect <laughs> yeah. on you. So Rio. Yeah. I know your history, but I want to share your history. So when did you start getting interested in fashion? Well, I feel like I've been interested in fashion since, you know, like forever, since high yeah. school. Yeah. I mean, you know. I know. We, we used to spend forever <laughs> getting ready to go out and putting together outfits and stuff like that. But yeah. um, I think, I, you know, I, I really took it seriously when when we lived in Victoria. Started yeah. That, there was that. Yeah, that's so true. I remember... Um, we would go to vintage shops and we would, I think we both worked in clothing stores. No, I was working with food already. Yeah. You were working in clothing stores. Yeah, and that's right. Um, and I remember our house. Uh, we were roommates. <laughs> and Back in the day. Yeah. There yeah. were clothes everywhere. Oh, and yeah. And they were not your standard <laughs> clothes. These were extra special. Yeah. <laughs> this is the, this yeah. is the late 90s, so. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It's funny. Fashion's kind of swung back in that into that oh, zone again. It's, which all, is, it's all here again. Yeah, it it's really like, brings back the good feelings. Yeah, I love for it. sure, absolutely. Yeah. So, when did you? I when did you actually first take on fashion as your? I know. I know. You actually started making handbags. Mm -hmm. um, what was that like? Two thousand. Well, I did start making handbags, and I actually did make hats in the beginning. Yeah. But um, the hand the handbags just started selling, so I just started. I just put the hats aside, and um, I sold handbags for like and fashion accessories yeah. for like twenty years. But um, about ten years ago, I just I knew I wanted to get back into the hats, but I knew it required like tools, yeah, and it required time, and I needed to do courses, <laughs> and I needed to learn a lot of things. So I basically um, I like I delved right in. Mm -hmm. And I invested in the tools and I, and in the materials, and I did um, it, Hat Academy Australia. I got a certificate of completion for doing yeah. that. Yeah, and that I was amazing. And I learned a lot from that. And then as soon as I started making hats, then I, I, I suddenly was like, I need to open yeah. a hat shop. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Actually, I have two really strong memories. Uh, there. It was kind of almost like a premonition. We were, I don't even know if you remember this. Okay. We were in Grand, at Granville Island in yeah. Vancouver. Yeah. We were probably like 19 or 20 years old. Yeah. And you just got obsessed with this hat shop. Yeah. And we, we would yeah. both go to it. Yeah. But I remember this thing and it was like, oh, yes. oh this is your store, really. Yeah. I remember the feeling. I was like, yeah. oh. That hat shop and also Roberta's yeah. hat shop. Yes. In Victoria. Yes, and I remember that too. All my girlfriends used to work there and I used to go there all the time and I loved it as well. Yeah. So I just, there's always been a thing about hats. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And accessories. And now yeah. we are in the epicenter <laughs> of, of that yeah. vision. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I know, it's so fun. I And it's been um, about 16 months yeah. since I've been open and uh, it's great. It's been yeah. great. Yeah. Um, so... You're making hats, and how do you actually decide other lines? Like, you have some other lines that you haven't, that you're not yeah. creating. Well, you know what? I kind of just get a little obsessed. You yeah. Know, I find something that I absolutely, like, love. Like, oh, right now I'm, I'm wearing these slime earrings. This is an artist <laughs> at a, that I actually found at a Portland craft fair. Yeah. And I kept it in the back of my mind that as soon as I opened a shop one day, I would be selling her earrings. Yeah, they're so amazing. I, now I have her whole line of earrings here. They're a real hot seller. Yeah. And um, it's kind of like that for a lot of the lines in here. Yeah. yeah. Or I find something I get really excited about and then I know I have to bring it in. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then you've also got these... Cur I'm actually going to get up and go put a, a pair on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, So where did you find these vintage well, sunglasses? Those brand actually, new vintage. You know what? Sunglasses. Those, I found a whole. I have a whole collection of vintage <laughs> sunglasses that I found from a guy that in France, and he found them in a warehouse. And so 
I basically, they're never been used. Mm -hmm. They're from the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and they've never been used. And so those ones are actually made in, it says West Germany, actually, on yeah. those ones. But most of them are all made Zeiss. in France or Italy. Yeah. <laughs> and the people have been coming in for specifically for those. They find out we have them and yeah. they come and see it. They, come, they yeah. love it. Yeah, they're they're absolutely incredible. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so I also, so you've got hats, you have sunglasses, you have headbands, you have I have a all. line of tights made in Japan. I sell like crazy, yeah. they're wonderful. Yeah, those are beautiful. They're gorgeous, and I've got like a whole bunch of jewelry <laughs> lines. Um, I have like um, a kimono line and- Yeah, um, those are gorgeous. I have scarves and you know all kinds of Canadian made companies as well. Mm -hmm. Like right now, this is a Lillian Coho out of Nelson. They're one of the best sellers in here. I just got them in and you're wearing a Bailey's hat. Bailey's are um, from Adamsville, Pennsylvania, and they're the oldest hat making factory that's left in North America. Amazing. Yes, and they've been making hats for over a hundred years. Cool. Yeah. I think Matt might have a. Bailey's oh yeah, he hat. does definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he does. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And uh, I'm just peering around the room. You have those <laughs> amazing little bags, those velvet bags with the embroidery on them. I yes. Love. Yes. Those the travel bags. Yes. And, and yeah, a ton of men's hats. Oh, yes. Like actually, um, that's one thing guys really come in here and they like at first think, oh, is there hats yeah. in here for me? And then they come in and they're like, oh my gosh, there's hats for me. Yeah. <laughs> I have, there's so many hats. And, and I do specialize also too in having small hats and double XLs. And so yeah. I've had guys come in here and say, you don't have a hat for me. And I'm like, no, actually I do. And then yeah. they're like surprised. They got like a dozen different things to choose from. Mm -hmm. And same with ladies with very small heads. They're always like, I've been shopping in the kids department, but now I don't need to do it oh, anymore. Wow. So that's like, I'm, and I said, no more. Of yeah. That. You're, <laughs> you're a lady. Yeah. 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 You're, you're a lady. You yeah. deserve a yeah. lady's hat. Yes, yes. These are truly ladies hats. Yeah. I'm going to be adding a lot of B-roll reels so that people can nice. see the hats that we're yeah. talking about. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah. Um, I have a really big head and I always find a hat, which is. I have a big head too. So that's why you're <laughs> definitely going to find one for you as well. So, and that's kind of normal. That's not like unheard yeah. of. So, you know, yeah. like um, regular department store only really carry a medium. So it's just, you're kind mm -hmm. of in that. If you, otherwise you're out of luck. Yeah. Yeah. And you've got the whole seasonal range. I, I, I've bought summer hats in here. I have bought winter hats in here mm -hmm. and I, the Kangals are really awesome. Oh, I, yeah. I have a couple of those and I can't stop. I got, with well, I, I think <laughs> I, I have the largest selection of Kangals in the interior of BC here. Yeah. And they're just so fun. Like, yeah. you know, I just always love them. And right now we're getting into the, I'm just pulling out all the new stuff every day. I'm putting new inventory mm -hmm. in for winter. Um, you know, so like all kinds of beanies and toques and knits and like, um, you name it, all the cozy stuff's coming in. Yeah. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. And this is a year of maximalism in fashion. Oh. So, yes. Okay. Thank you for letting me yes. know that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> neither one of us follows uh, you any know what? rules. Honestly, but in this case, Taryn has always been like one of my fashion muses. Like, so I just like, Taryn is, she lets me know all this stuff. So thank you. Thank you. Well, neither one of us follows any rules, but. Yeah, that's true. I have been noting that people are just draping on the accessories, yeah. like, yeah. you know, extra. Extra. Like extra necklace, extra earrings. Oh, by the way, best earrings here. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It, yeah. So you've got, this is a good year for everyone to come in. Yeah, totally. Got the <laughs> Maximalize. Yeah, and we have, and, and I've been noticing statement earrings. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't even keep them in. I'm like having to reorder all the time. Yeah. So um, that's definitely, people are going for it. Yeah, really. I love it. Well, next visit, we definitely have to be in your studio. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, next yeah. time you're making hats, you have to tell me. Yeah, right, absolutely. Pulling out the, the forms and the and That's the a whole other place. <laughs> I know, <laughs> it's, like it's a, a whole it's other just, place. It's a whole other place, but yeah. Um, yeah, I make all the stuff there, and then I bring it here and do all the finishing and hand sewing here and stuff. Like, awesome. these are These are some of my handmade hats behind yeah. us. Well, I know I've come to visit you when you're doing that. Yeah, these are absolutely incredible creations. Yeah, so there's going to be lots of B-roll of all of this. <laughs>
Okay, well, I should let you open up the store now. Yeah, well, thank <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Okay. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>